Hello everyone, my name is Megan Krager. I am the Senior Naturalist here at Bayes Mountain Park and Planetarium. And a Senior Naturalist is basically a head park ranger and there are a few employees that also work as a park ranger here at the park. And those employees, we all work as a team in order to uh, help out the park and provide programming here at the park itself. So you're probably wondering, what are some of the tasks or duties a park ranger does on a daily basis? Well, number one here at our park, we have animals that we have to take care of. And so in the mornings, what we do is we get the animals ready to go as far as their food is concerned. So as a park ranger, we need to know the animal's diet. What can they eat? What can they not eat? That's very important. Also, too, in the afternoon, if we have time, we will uh, clean out the animal enclosures. We will get them ready, make it nice and fresh, fluff, fluff up their beds uh, every once in a while. And then sometimes, too, in the afternoons, we provide programming. And the programming that we provide are educational programs about the animals that we have here, about the environment, and about the park in general. So the park ranger, or as a park ranger, we need to know a little bit about ecology, dendrology, which is the study of trees. We also need to know a little bit about uh, biology as well, and also a few other sciences along with uh, um, what I just mentioned. And those particular items will help you in providing educational programs, not only to school groups, but also to the public itself. So if we're not providing school group programs, and if we're not in the uh, park and uh, cleaning the animal enclosures, we do have paperwork that we have to do. There is an administrative side to our job. And we do have to answer emails, answer phone calls that come in on a daily basis. Sometimes we, we don't get the chance to get out into the park because we have so many phone calls and questions coming in about a wide variety of different, different aspects of the environment or about different things going on in our community. And so we try to answer those particular questions as best as we can. We do also a lot of research here at the park. Uh, if there is a program that we need to get ready for, what we have a tendency to do is do some research, go online, make sure that we have the proper information to give our park guests when we are giving programs. If you want to become a park ranger, the best thing to do is volunteer. Volunteering will help you get ready for a park ranger position. If you volunteer, you can help out or work next to a park ranger and help them with projects that they need to fulfill at the park. So if you are part of the Boy Scouts, part of the Girl Scouts, Trail Life Crew, 4-H, if you have a youth group, have your leaders contact a park near you and ask them if you can help them out with a service project. Because a lot of parks, whether it's a county park, city park, municipal park, uh, has a tendency to have a long list of projects that they need help with. And those groups can help the park ranger cut down those projects. And by working with a park ranger, you can start asking park ranger questions about how do they get interested in becoming a park ranger, what do they like about being a park ranger, and you can learn some of the ins and outs about being a park ranger itself. Once you get to the age of 18, that's when you can actually really volunteer at the park. That is when um, the golden age is 18 and a lot of parks will allow you to come in and volunteer uh, on a regular basis at the park itself. If you are going to college and you want to plan on taking a uh, college course, I would suggest making sure that you sign up for internships. Internships allow you to figure out if this is a position or a job that you want to fulfill for the rest of your life or is it something that you rather not want to do for the rest of your life. Try to participate in as many internships as possible once you get to that age. That way it'll help you make decisions when you are in your 20s to figure out what you want to do. Also too, if you can go to a park and you can learn as much as you can about that park, learn about the birds, learn about the plants, learn about the mosses, all of those parts and pieces are very important into the environmental world. And that's how a lot of, our, a lot of us that are park rangers found out that we wanted to be park rangers because we were so interested in those parts and pieces and how they work and how they fit together. 
and by participating in citizen science programs, whether it's a frog watch or a bird count or you're counting trees in an area, those are all important because they provide scientific data that we can look back at in, uh, in history to see what took place in two to three years ago or did we see a particular bird fly through the area two, th two to three years ago and why did we see this bird fly through? What were some good things going on in nature that allowed that bird to come through that we, ha that we don't see the bird today? Also being a park ranger you need to be flexible because sometimes we have schedules that will cause us to um, do different things that we may not want to do at times, but uh, sometimes we also come in and we have a schedule of things that we want to get done. But there are sometimes people that will come in like a manager and want us to do other things. So we have to be very flexible with our schedule. Also, if you like to be a people person, and if you like talking to people, if you like providing programs in front of people, uh, that is an, uh, one item that we do here at the park and we do that quite a bit. And so I hope that these particular tips will help you uh, figure out if you wanna become a park ranger or not. I decided to become a park ranger when I was 10 years old, when I went on a camping trip with my parents. My parents and I would camp all the time. I saw some park rangers having fun and they had some pretty cool looking uniforms at the time. And I said, you know what? I would like to go ahead and do that. I didn't know anything about being a park ranger, but as I started um, camping and I started learning a little bit about uh, the state parks and so forth, I started really getting into wanting to become more of a park ranger. So I hope these tips uh, help you out. I hope you have um, an, a good opportunity to participate in citizen science programs, learning a little bit about the environment, and try to learn as much as you can about your community around you. Thank you very much and have a great day.